Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have x to the power 2 times x to the 6th power equals 3 to the power 27. And we're going to be solving for x values. So for these kinds of equations, a lot of times we are trying to get something like a to the power a equals b to the power b. And from here, we can basically conclude that A equals B is one of the solutions. Obviously, this doesn't have to be the only solution, because if you think about the graph of X to the power X, it kind of looks like this. 0, 1 is an open dot, because 0 to the power 0 does not equal 1. And then our graph is going to decrease, and then, oopsies, that's not what I want. So our graph is going to decrease like this and then it's going to start increasing. So it has a minimum at one point which is I believe uh, x equals 1 over e and then it's going to start increasing. So when you have a y value that is equal to 1 for example y equals 1 is going to intersect at one point right? So x to the x equals 1 has one solution but if uh, x is or the y value is less than 1 let's say something on this interval then you're going to get two solutions. But we're looking at a very large number, so we're going to end up getting a single solution. Okay, but how do you manipulate it? How do you turn it into something like this? So here's the trick. And I believe we've done a similar problem before, and I probably talked about a general, I think I did, a general idea, the general form, something like a to the power b, x to the c equals d, where b and c are somewhat related. Okay, so here's the idea. You do have a 6 here, that is x to the 6, and you do have a 2 here. So this is kind of like, you can write this as x to the 2nd power, to the power x to the 6, right? So the base and the exponent are not the same. But we can make them the same by expanding, like multiplying by something. So the number that we need to use is how many times 2 goes into 6? In other words, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So that's what we need to multiply by. So let's rewrite the equation and then we're going to work from there. So we have x to the power 2 times x to the 6 equals 3 to the power 27. Again, 3 to the power 27 is a very, very large number. And it can be written in different ways because 3 squared is 9. So you can write it as a power of 9 with fractions or you can write this as a power of 27 or 81, so on and so forth. Okay, so we're supposed to multiply by 3 to get 6 in our exponent. So we're going to do that first. Let's go ahead and raise both sides to the power 6. Now, oops, did I say 6? I meant 3 to make 6. Okay, so our goal is to get a 6, so we're going to raise both sides to the power 3. Okay, here we go. From here, we get the following. 2 times 3 is 6. So x to the power 6, x to the 6 equals 3 to the power 27 to the third. The exponents are multiplied, and we get 3 to the power 81. Okay, so we still have to put it in this form. a to the power a equals b to the power b. Let's do it on the left-hand side first. How can I get a to the a from here? Easy. First of all, notice that 6 and x to the 6 are multiplied. So this means, since we have a to the power m, n, is a to the power m to the power n, or a to the power n to the power m. So we can basically put this 6 inside the parentheses and write this as x to the power 6 to the power x to the power 6. And when you multiply the exponents, you get 6 times x to the 6 in the exponent. And now, what am I going to do with the 3 to the power 81? So there's a couple options. 3 to the power 81, since 3 squared is 9, I can kind of write, write it like this. I can say, hey, 3 to the second to the power 81 over 2, this is going to be 9 to the power 81 over 2. But the base and the exponents are not going to be the same. Or I can use the third power, so 3 to the third, Divide 81 by 3, you get 27. And then 3 to the third power is actually 27. So this becomes 27 to the power 27. And no other power is going to work because if you try any higher power like 3 to the power 9, to the power 9, because 9 times 9 is 81, you'll get something very large at the base. 
And 3 to the power of 27 to the third, obviously, is not going to work either because the base is going to be way too large. So this is the balance where they're equal. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to write the 3 to the power 81 as 3 to the third to the power 27. So that 3 times 27 is 81. And then we're going to turn this into 27 to the power 27. And from here, 1 to 1 correspondence tells us that, hey, x to the power 6 must be 27. And that gives us two solutions. And you might be questioning, like, isn't there another solution? Is that the only one? Well, like we said earlier, this is a very large number, definitely greater than 1. And this function is going to be increasing on that interval. Therefore, there's only going to be a single intersection point. But this equation has two solutions, one positive, one negative. One of them is the, uh, the sixth root of 27, which we can simplify, by the way. And the other one is the opposite of that. How can we simplify this? This is 3 to the third power. So I can kind of write it like this. And then the 3 and the 6 kind of cancel out. So you can kind of go like this, like fractions. So this basically becomes square root of 3. And this becomes negative square root of 3. So when you raise square root of 3 to the sixth power, you're going to do the following. This is going to be th square root of 3 times square root of 3 times square root of 3. You're going to write it 6 times, right? Hopefully not, but these are going to be 3s, and that's going to give you 27. So it works. But the question is, is the negative solution also going to work, right? That's why we got to check with the original problem. Not this one, but the original one. The original problem said x to the power 2 times x to the 6 equals 3 to the power 27. Obviously, square root of 3 is going to work, and you can also check that too. So if you replace x with, let's see, square root of 3, you're going to get square root of 3 to the power 2 times square root of 3 to the 6th power. And if you remember, that was 27, right? And now you can basically write this as square root of 3 squared to the power 27, and that is 3 to the power 27. So square root of 3 works. How about negative square root of 3? And for the same reason, it is going to work because when you square negative square root of 3, you get 3. Therefore, it's also going to be one of the solutions. So to keep a long story short, I know I kept it kind of way too long, but the main idea is when you get an equation like this, and most of the time you can do that, to bring it into a format like a to the a equals b to the b, and then go from there. Now, what happens if you don't get that format? Like, what if I get something like x to the power x equals 4? There's also a way to solve it, which is by using a special function. And we can talk about it later. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.